for stakes greater than any purse. He kept fighting back. No nation, no people can be free without land. And we are a whole nation, 22 million people without a toothpick factory. We worked 310 years and ain't got nothing. At least we worked 100 years and got something. So you can't now be angry because they tired and they don't see no more hope in integrating. Integrating and fail, swimming in the fail, laying in, walking in, still getting their heads beat in, and you wonder now why they tired. And we fought in all the wars, and we still fight now. What's me if I believe in separation? I recognize the fact that you believe in it. That's what your people believe in. What you mean you don't believe in it? Because you're just talking crazy. Every city I go to, I can find a black neighborhood and a white neighborhood. Which means don't believe in it. How many Negroes live just, how many Negroes live out here just in this big old neighborhood? You can't blame a black man for wanting to leave all this mistreatment. You must be crazy. So what you mean don't take white money? The only thing right about that money is the white pictures on it. What you mean white money? If that's the case, I should take off these clothes. You made them too. I should fly in your airplane. What am I going to do? Just go out and lay down somewhere and hide in the mud hole? What now? What is to become of Muhammad Ali, also known as Cassius Clay? It would be up to the individual boxing commissions to consult their sensitive standards of ethics and decide whether or not to let him fight again. There is another possibility, of course. He may keep on the way he's going to develop into a leader of the black revolution. His popularity is growing among the youth, black and white, as our national policies continue to decay. Can he do this? Can he go this route? Some think he can become as powerful a spokesman as Malcolm X in his own way. But will he be allowed to become a leader? Let's put worrying white people, plaguing white people's neighborhood, forcing themselves on white people, and we don't clean up and do for ourselves. The slum is not in the neighborhood. The slum is not in the ghetto. The slum is in the people. The people make the slum. And the condition our people are in now, if you gave them a $93 million project, they'll make a slum out of it in 24 hours. Hmm. Then you can take a nation of people who are intelligent and they can make a slum of paradise. There are no easy solutions for Muhammad Ali. No happy ending for this attempt at telling his story. Except this. To be a champion is to convert obstacles into stepping stones. It is possible to strip a man of a title, but in a more important sense, champion means a set of qualities rather than an official title. You know, all of the youth are watching you, and all of them look up to, the, to you and idolize you. A champion is a species of hero, and a hero is nourished by misfortune. That is why he attracts legend. Let us hope, then, that no action of defense departments or federal judiciary or Muslim factionalism can quench these qualities that make Ali a champion. He is more than a champion. He is a man. <laughs>